everybody, it's Ali here to, to welcome you to the Tate Tuesday concert series at home, alone. Um, this promotes our emergency relief fund, which we started um, three months ago. And every Tuesday night we have a concert um, with one of our young awardees or our artists who have all gone to their various boroughs in, in either in Australia or in England to for the coronavirus pandemic. So welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining us. And, and um, it, the ticket price, 80% of the ticket goes to a young artist. And we're trying to build up our emergency relief fund, which we will then give out to anyone who absolutely desperately needs it, which I'm sure everybody does, but it's, it's a really difficult time we're all going through, but we'll survive. Thank you so much for joining us. Tonight we have the wonderful Joe Swados, who is an oud player, who has come to, um, who's in lockdown in London, and he is um, going to perform for us tonight. He's got a great personality. You'll love his music. He's very unusual. He has played with the Australian Chamber Orchestra around the world. He's a com composer and he's got great personality. So you, you'll enjoy his company, I know, and his extraordinary playing. And he's brought along his own audience, which is his mobile, which claps after each of his numbers. So enjoy tonight, I'm sure you will. And please try and help us support these young people from Australia and New Zealand and um, with our series, which will probably go on for the next couple of months. Um, thank you so much. Um, we're really gr deeply grateful to you all. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy tonight. Hello, everybody. Joseph Tawadros here from London, uh, wood player and composer. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it's uh, it's really great to have you. It's uh, it's a very interesting time we are living in, uh, especially for musicians and artists. So it's really great that you guys could tune in and help support um, the Tate Emergency Relief Fund um, because it does help uh, artists like myself uh, who've had gigs cancelled and tours cancelled. So thank you for getting on board. I'm going to play a selection of my original music today for you. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, this is the Oud, the Middle Eastern lute, uh, the ancestor of the, uh, the Western lute. Um, and the word lute comes from Oud, actually. The Arabs brought it to Spain in the 9th century and then spread around and became the uh, oud, okay, the, became the lute and then the guitar. So it's a very historically significant instrument. So hopefully you'll enjoy something, find uh, influences of flamenco and uh, you know classical music and uh, all sorts of things, jazz, blues, whatever we can try and throw in there. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed. I thought I'd start with a piece which is very aptly named uh, Dreaming Hermit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Dreaming Hermit. Uh, that was the, the start. Nice to uh, get into the mood. Of course, I have been a Dreaming Hermit. Uh, hermit, hermiting in my uh, place in London until this uh, thing blows over, I hope, and hope everyone is happy and healthy. Um, this is, I'm going to be switching between two Uds. This Ud has much more mellow tone and is tuned down a semitone from concert pitch, uh, which traditionally that uh, the Arabic music, they do do that. Um, it's called the lower uh, layer. The lower layer means just, yeah, just it has a softer kind of, um, yeah, I, I guess it's like the Baroque tuning of 415 hertz that has a certain type of resonance. Um, so then I'll switch to my main instrument, uh, the one that I usually play in concert, which is that concert pitch. Make sure it's in tune, very important. piece I'm going to play for you um, is a piece I recorded in 2009. I, I released an album called The Prophet, music inspired by the poetry of Khalil Gibran, the great Arabic poet who wrote um, The Prophet in 1923, very inspired by his work. And this is aptly named uh, Work is Love Made Visible. <laughs>
Thank you very much. That was based on Kalusha Brown's uh, poem, Work. Um, the next piece I want to play for you is a more contemporary uh, wood piece. Uh, that was quite contemporary anyway, but um, even more contemporary than that. Um, let me just have a, a sip of tea here. That's a good thing about home concerts, is that you can have a cup of tea. It's not something you do when you have a concert. Maybe you can have a bottle of water on stage, but you never have a cup of tea. It'd be great. I mean, that would be great. Hopefully when we come out of this, we could all have cups of tea on stage and maybe recreate the living room experience. Most musicians won't be able to play without this experience, so we're going to have to build a set looking like everyone's living room if I were, were to perform correctly. Um, so, um, yeah, this next contemporary piece is called Constellation. And it's based on exploring different sounds uh, within the instrument, different textures. I've performed with many great musicians uh, who I've absolutely just had the uh, honour of performing with and, and just seeing them, um, you know, work their craft on their instrument. And um, these instruments that I try and employ here is uh, uh, the Arabic, well, not the Arabic, the African koto. Now, well, koto is not African either. So let's try that one again. It's the African kora, the Japanese koto. Uh, the slide guitar and some talking drum in there. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll hear that the last section is quite vocal in a way. But uh, the idea of this is basically kind of messing with harmonics and trying to find call and response passages with harmonics and melodic sections. So here is a piece of mine called Constellation.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Constellation. I'm uh, just going to adjust my footstool here. Uh, just get some more back support. Um, so that was Constellation. Uh, I'm going to slow it down a little bit again and uh, play the other oud. Um, I tend to tune the bass strings of the oud according to the mode that I play. Arabic music is made up of many modes. And I try and change my bass notes accordingly to give it a resonance and also to strike them as an ornament as well. So in octaves. Uh, um, this next piece I want to play is uh, quite a popular piece for me. A lot of people request it. Um, and it's seen many formations. Originally it was recorded as a quartet uh, with the great Mac, Matt McMahon, the Australian jazz piano player. Uh, we went to New York with my brother James, a uh, great percussionist, James Tuadros, uh, playing the rec, the Arabic tambourine, and he accompanies me on, on most things. Couldn't be here today because he's in Australia and I'm in London. Um, uh, so yeah, it's seen many lights. So we had that in Christian McBride on double bass. And then uh, we performed it again uh, with the Australian Chamber Orchestra in a chamber arrangement. And then a couple of years later after that with the BBC Symphony Orchestra and a symphonic arrangement by Jules Buckley. So it's seen many different lights. I really enjoy playing it and hopefully you enjoy it. It has a beautiful sentiment to it. Um, it's quite a melancholic piece but quite hopeful and hopefully it comforts you uh, in these days. If you're feeling any pain, here is a piece called Permission to Evaporate.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Permission to Evaporate. And uh, that's coming out on an album as well uh, in the Symphonic Arrangement, uh, an album of mine coming out on ABC Classics in about a month, uh, called Live at the Sydney Opera House. I uh, did three concerts with the, Sydney, uh, with the Sydney Symphony last year at the Sydney Opera House, and it was such an amazing experience. And ABC Classics put it on uh, record, so hopefully you can get behind that too. Of course, everyone who has CD players. I know CD players are so popular these days, so if you do happen to have a CD player, uh, you should get one. If you don't happen to have a CD player, just get a CD anyway and use it as a coaster. Very handy coaster. Let's play another piece for you with this one now. This one's a little bit more fast, uh, you know, a little bit more exciting. Um, this piece is called Garde Lest. I recorded on an album called The Hour of Separation, 2010. Uh, it was my first really big album uh, overseas. Uh, New York with the great John Abercrombie on guitar, uh, John Patitucci on double bass, and Jack DeJanet on drums, and it was such an amazing experience, and I just really enjoyed it. And um, so this piece has a little bit of a jazzier vibe. And Garde de l'Est is a train station in Paris, um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of got this train driving rhythm to it. So here is Garde de l'Est. Garde de l'Est. <laughs> Thank you. 
much, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, let's get the heart pumping. I think I've got some applause here somewhere. Uh, yeah, some applause. There you go. Wow, thank you very much. Woo, you shouldn't have. No, sit down. Thank you, thank you. Oh, again, going again. Oh, there's a few applause sounds in here. Um, uh, so it's uh, here. Oh, look at that one. That's wild. That's wild. This is the stuff we have to do now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to get applause. We have to use apps and things. And I can just go off my yeah, that one. That one stop unless I take it off. Anyway, there's an applause. Uh, it gets the heart pumping. That piece. It's a piece called Gardelest. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Let's play another one, another slow one, just to to relax it a bit. This one, I haven't done this one in a while uh, as a solo piece. This is uh, actually the second movement of my Wood Concerto. Um, in 2017, I was commissioned by the uh, Melbourne Symphony Orchestra to write a piece for myself, which is great news and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting to be given that opportunity. I've always wanted to compose an Wood Concerto, so uh, this is something that was, uh, yeah, that was great to happen. And um, it was a program uh, called uh, New Music for Old Instruments. Um, a part of the Metropolis Festival, so they gave me the opportunity, yeah, to compose an Ud Concerto, and I did. Um, and that will also be on the album uh, on ABC Classics. Uh, the, the album is centered around the Ud Concerto, uh, which I re-recorded with the Sydney Symphony in the concert series last year. Um, so this piece is a slow piece, it still has a kind of, you know, wild section, but uh, a slow piece called, um, well, it's the second movement of my Ud Concerto, Ud Concerto, uh, yeah, Concerto for Ud and Orchestra.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was the second movement of my Wood Concerto. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a bit of fun. Oh, it's nice when they have strings and horns and it's beautiful playing with a symphony orchestra. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, C minor. C minor. I like a, a bit of C minor. Let's take it down now. Well, let's take it up a bit more. Play another fast one. This is a piece uh, which was originally I, I composed as a duet with the great uh, double bassist uh, John Patitucci, who was uh, who's featured on my Hour of Separation album, which I recorded in 2010. Um, he couldn't be here today, so I'm going to play it solo. Um, and I, you know, when I found out that he was going to be on the album, I was so excited, and so I kind of wanted to write this really showy piece and uh, you know really challenge him and challenge me. And so yeah, I did. So this is a piece called Give or Take. <laughs> Standing ovation. Well, the applause is a bit delayed. What's going on, guys? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, you shouldn't have. Applause one's not that great, to be honest. Uh, let's try applause six. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And appreciate you um, tuning in. Uh, take Tuesdays at home. Um, it's every day's at home now at the moment, but uh, Tuesday's a good day. A bit of alliteration, really. We could have done it Thursday, but it didn't have the ring as Tate Thursdays. It's more Tate Tuesday, sounds good. Uh, what are we going to play now? Let me play, let's slow it down a bit. I'm trying to take you on an emotional roller coaster. When you play an instrument like the oud, you have to, word, you have to use the word journey a lot. I'm going to take you on a journey, and you have to soften your voice. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, really Australian and, you know, brought, you know, brought up in, uh, you know, the slums and stuff, so, you know, I, I talk in my kind of relaxed, uh, Aussie kind of laid-back manner, and I can, but I can take you on a journey, on exploring many facets of life. Of course, I am a sensitive cat, you know, but I have to hide behind this facade. Uh, the wood gives me a bit of more, you know, emotional inroad. Otherwise, I'd just be in tears all day. The wood is one of those instruments that just takes you there. Uh, 
this is a piece also off that Kilogia Brown album I recorded. This one is called Reason and Passion. And in his poem, he says, Reason and Passion are the rudder and sails of your seafaring soul. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Reason and Passion. Um, hopefully there was some Reason and Passion. Hopefully we have Reason and Passion now. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of the concert. Minus the, uh, minus the encore. Well, you can't do the encores now, can you? I mean, you know, back in the day, you know, you'd play a really, you know, fast piece. You finish, rapturous applause. Then you have a standing ovation, then, you know, you walk off stage and people are clapping, yeah, more, more, maybe some stamping of the feet. Now that doesn't happen, now you have to do it for yourself. It's a bit sad, isn't it? You have to do <laughs> you kind of have to stamp your feet for yourself, hey, more, more, more. Then you bring out, you know, by the end of it, all musicians are going to have, like, split personalities, the audience and the performer. It's going to be interesting. Thanks, Corona. 
Uh, anyway, next piece I want to play, well the last piece, uh, minus the encore, because I'll have to clap for my set, stamp my feet and all that sort of stuff. Um, and please feel free to follow me on all social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and support the other artists um, that have concerts coming up for Tate Tuesdays at home. Um, I'm every day at home, so I could have a concert, I could do Tate, Tate every day. Tate every day at home. But you wouldn't want to see me play the all the time. Um, so here is a piece called Bluegrass and the Crees. Um, Bluegrass and the Crees is a piece I composed, um, you know, inspired by the great Bella Fleck, the great banjo player. And um, it basically takes in uh, two scales, it's composed of two scales, more or less. There's other bits and pieces, but more or less uh, two scales. Uh, one of which is the Nakree scale, so Arabic music is made up of many modes called uh, makams, makamat as a plural, but makam is the singular. And the Nakree scale, which is in the title. <laughs> Find it with a blue scale. And that's a scale that doesn't exist in Arabic music. So there you go. A little bit of fun there. I like a bit of blues. It's getting a little bit dirty. You know, you've got to scrunch your face when you play the blues. Woo! And lean back. Crunch your face and lean back is very uh, effective. And a shake of the head. Anyway, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of theatre uh, in the blue scale. So uh, let me play it for you. This is a, yeah, and also watch out for the seven section. It's really, there's a, a section in the middle there of seven eight, which is quite fine because it doesn't happen in bluegrass seven eight. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be a nice little touch. So here's a piece of mine called Bluegrass the Cruise. <laughs>
not stopping. Ah, oh, I think they should be. Ah, oh. woo! Thank you. Ah, oh, okay. So that means there should be an encore. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the enthusiasm and the excitement. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for everyone at the Tate Memorial uh, Fund, uh, who's uh, yeah just an absolute legend. Uh, so we've got the Tate Emergency Relief Fund uh, for the artists doing it tough here. So please get behind that and support the artists. And um, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to play one more piece for you, surprisingly, one more piece. Thanks for the applause and the love. And um, yeah, yeah, I, I was too lazy to, to walk out of the room and come back uh, again. It's a little bit weird, but I'm here. I'm here with you. So the last piece I'm going to play is the finale uh, of my Hour of Separation album called Forbidden Fruit. It's a very fiery piece, which I like finishing uh, as an encore. So here is Forbidden Fruit. Once again, thank you to everyone that's made this possible. And um, we will go strong and uh, happy and healthy and we'll uh, get out of this and go back to beautiful art and music which surrounds us and fills our spirit. So here is Forbidden Fruit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Uh, Tate Tuesdays at home. I am Joseph Tawadros. 
uh, playing the oud for you today. Uh, thanks to everybody uh, at the Tate Memorial Trust for making it happen and you uh, for tuning in. So thank you very much and hopefully uh, we'll see you happy and healthy at the end of this and enjoying music and art and getting back uh, into how we were. So thank you very much and um, yeah, many blessings to you all.